Good afternoon. My name is David Shuttleworth, and I'm the Senior Librarian, Reference and Information at the Harris Reference Library in Preston. This afternoon, I'm going to talk to you about family history and how to find out about your ancestors. My grandfather, Frank, was the first to awaken my interest in history. He passed away 16 years ago, and his death certificate gives me the first information I need to start tracing my ancestors. The first step will be to find Frank's birth certificate. This will contain his father's name, his mother's name and his mother's maiden name. This last piece of information is particularly useful when we're trying to find their marriage. And the marriage certificates provide the father's names. So this provides the essential information for finding earlier generations. That we will begin the search in 1907 to look for my grandfather's birthday. And the, the records we're going to look at are the St Catherine's Index. These are the records of the Registrar General and cover the whole of England and Wales from 1837 onwards. They are arranged by quarter, that is three months set periods, in January to March, April to June, etc. And each quarter is in alphabetical order by surname and then alphabetical order by Christian name. There are separate records for Scotland, uh, Ireland and the Isle of Man. These indexes are available at the Harris Reference Library on microfilm, but they are also available at every branch library throughout Lancashire. They are on what is called the online reference library. If you ask the library staff in the branch, they will be able to show you how to find ancestry on the on online reference library. By accessing the indexes via the online reference library, we enter the name of Frank Shuttleworth. My grandfather's birthday was in May. Here we have displayed one page from the indexes to the births in England and Wales in the June quarter of 1907. And here we have an entry for Frank Shuttleworth for the June quarter of 1907 born in Burnley, registered in Burnley, with a reference number of 8E261. 8E refers to an area of Lancashire, and several districts will be included in this one area. For each quarter, each area has a volume held at the Postal Applications Department at Southport. The page number is a second uh, figure, 261 and this refers to the single page within that volume and the copy of the birth certificate will be found on that particular page. If you wish to make to obtain a copy of the certificate this is the information you will need to send to Southport. Alternatively you could contact Lancashire Certificate Services who have an office on the docks in Preston. They hold the records for all Lancashire births, marriages and deaths. They will not require the volume and page number, but they will require the year and quarter and name of the person involved. Once I have Frank's birth certificate, it will show me his parents' names and his mother's maiden name. So the next step is to try and find their marriage. There's no indication given on the certificate of how long they have been married, so it's a question of starting from the same quarter as you found the, mar the birth and working backwards through the marriage records. Searching for a marriage certificate this way can take quite a long time, but it is possible to try and take a shortcut by using the website FreeBMD. This allows you to search through a number of years across all, all the districts within Lancashire or indeed across the country so it can make a search considerably quicker. What we would do first is to select the search option. And enter the name uh, Hartley Shuttleworth. 
This is the name of Frank's father, which we obtained from his birth certificate. We can select a period from 1895 through to 1907, and we will look in the whole of the county of Lancashire. We find that there's only one entry in that date period for Hartley Shuttleworth. This is for a marriage in September of 1901. The district is given as Burnley, the same in which as when Frank was a registered, birth was registered, and the reference number is 80479. We can now do a search looking for who else appears on page 479 of the September quarter. Hartley Shuttleworth appears, but also Mary Hartley. And that's the name that appears on Frank's birth certificate. So we can be fairly sure that this is the correct marriage, the one that we're looking for. We have also, if by obtaining that certificate, we can find their father's names. And this will give us the information we need to consult our next source, which is the census. The census records for England and Wales are also available through Ancestry. All the census from 1841 through to 1901 are available there, plus the Scottish census for the same period. These census were held every 10 years and were recorded by enumerators who went round from house to house and handed out forms for the household to fill in. They provide a lot of useful information. They will give people's names, their ages, the relationships within the household, occupations and also the place of birth. It should be borne in mind, however, that the information was given by the in, occupants of the houses, but there was no check made on what they were telling the enumerator. Therefore, what might be termed family secrets could be hidden from prying eyes. Also, the enumerators often had to fill in the forms for the households and in that case you can often get um, entries where it depends what the enumerator heard rather than what the occupant said. Spellings can be particularly difficult. Haworth for instance can be spelt in a, diff a lot of different ways and if you're searching the indexes under one particular variant of the spelling it can, you can often miss the entry you're looking for. Now we're going to use Ancestry and taking the information from the marriage certificate we're going to look for Hartley Shuttleworth. We, can we know his age because that's on the certificate and it will be, be very useful in finding um, the it will be very useful in finding the correct entry if there turn out to be more than one Hartley Shuttleworths on the census for 1901. We're going to enter the county of Lancashire as the place of residence and we find at the top of the list a Hartley Shuttleworth who was born in about the right year 1872 by clicking on the view image at the end of the record, we will obtain a copy of the 1901 census. Here we have the head of the household, Mary Whitaker. She's given as a widow, aged 60. Uh, the children, Samuel, Hartley, Frank's father, William and Elizabeth, who is a daughter-in-law, are all listed. It would seem that Elizabeth is actually Samuel's wife because he is given as being married. If we scan across we can find that the boys were born in Carlton in Yorkshire which will be useful information to carry on further back. This is a short example of the way in which you can use the census and the civil registration records to build up the bare bones of your family history. They will take you back as far as 1840. Before that date, you're going to need to consider using parish registers and other records. 
there are plenty of people out there who are able to give you a hand. Not only the library staff, but also a body like the Lancashire Family History and Heraldry Society, who have branches throughout the county. They have lots of enthusiastic volunteers who are often only too willing to help people who are just starting out on finding their family history.